Hey everybody, welcome to another Star Wars vehicle review. Continuing the theme with their Clone Wars uh, vehicle reviews, the next set I'm going to be giving you guys a look at is this set right here. This is the Republic Swamp Speeder. Sorry about that, just focusing the camera. Really cool set. Um, I believe this is yet another repack. I could be wrong on that. Don't quote me. This might be an on your vehicle now that I think about it. Anyway, going on to the <laughs> going on to the review. Um, you notice that there's a gap in here, like with my ATAP review, and that is because this set uh, um, has one of those dioramas that you fold out. And it's like a swamp scene or whatever. But I'm not gonna be showing you guys that. You could you could find that online if you want. All right, on the back here, you have a concept image or a Clone Wars image, I can't really tell, of uh, Felucia with the Swamp Speeder. Some of the features, a description, which will be in the description box below. If you want to get a quick read at that, you can. So yeah, enough about that. All right, let me refocus the camera, give you a better look at the vehicle. All right, and here it is. See, really neat vehicle. Um, definitely not something we see in the movies, at least I don't remember this being in Revenge of the Sith, but if you, if you saw my last reviews on the, my last vehicle reviews, you'll know that I don't like Clone Wars figures or the Clone Wars show, but I do enjoy their vehicles. They're really nice. They're, they're really well executed. So going on to the vehicle itself, we have tons of great details, lots of cool features. So I guess, um, let's start at the front with this one. As you'll notice, we have two um, cannons right here. Now they do rotate 360 degrees and they do pivot up and down. And attached to them are four flick fire missiles. So you just flick them down and they do fire out right there. Give you a better look at the missile itself. See, some good details. Mine were a little crooked. I don't know if that's the norm. You see, they're all, you know, somewhat bent. But yeah, all right. They do remove, see? And giving you a better look at the cannons. Really nice. Some decent details and, you know, some great paint applications right there. Overall, nice accessories. So taking these off, could give you a better look at the top. They put a lot of pegs on this, which is actually a good thing. I'm saying it in a good way. So you have two here on either side. You do have two here on either side also. Tons of pegs to just stand your figures, which is really good. It gives it extra level of support. And overall, this just makes it look really, really nice. It does add a, a better level of detail. Moving on up, you do have some shield plates right here with some good paint applications, some slight weathering here, like soot or ash from the, the engines. You do have some scuff marks on either side which is done really nice also and uh, those uh, also translate very well throughout the top I'm scratching all right now looking at the sides here both sides are the same so you will notice the same details do have some really good mold work here some nice silver paint applications some red dots there really good paint applications on the back do have tons of great details with this turbine. Um, I really like the way they detailed it. I think it looks really great. And overall, this is just a really cool figure. Figure. Wow. Vehicle, not figure. <laughs> One take. Um, it's a really cool vehicle. I like the profile of it, the way that it's shaped. Um, going on to the center, there are some cool features. Uh, for one, these little control panels do come off. You see right here? They're just pegged on, which is really nice. There's no details on it. It's just green, which is kind of unfortunate. I wish they would have given us at least a sticker. And I could have put a sticker on it. But whatever. It's decently detailed. Now, the reason you can take it off is so you can actually seat your figures in. This makes it much easier to put your figures in. And you can actually... I don't know, it's hard to see, but there's a tiny little notch right here on this soft rubbery plastic. You see, and that holds the seatbelt into place. So you can actually take both of these off and then you can actually unhinge it right here. I know it's hard to see, pardon. But if you fiddle around with it, it does come off in these three places, you see? So then you can seat the figure and then you can lock him into place and put this uh, harness around him. The harness does have some really good details. 
So you know, it does have silver paint applications. This this is the same on either side. They're both the same. So this does have the removable control panel and the seatbelts do come off. So yeah, really cool. I'm not gonna bother putting a figure on this because although it's great in theory and I really like the way they they molded this and the way they set it up to sit down the figures, it's actually really difficult to sit these figures in. Now, I don't know if it's because I'm trying to put realistic figures in and not Clone Wars figures, because I know the Clone Wars figures are thinner, but it is just really difficult to get a figure in there. But then again, on the opposite side, I would figure that a realistic figure would be easier because they're super articulated as opposed to some of the Clone Wars figures. I don't know. Point is, it's really hard to put a figure in there, so I'm not even going to bother trying to put it in. So yeah. See? You. 360 view of it on the bottom there's really not many details they did do a lot of mold works which is nice it really does show and there are four wheels two down there and two down here so this does wheel around really nice and yeah overall this is just a really great vehicle um like i said i don't remember this being in revenge of the sith but you know i'm not really complaining i think it's really nice Especially if you have a Felucia setup. I know I don't. But in case you did, this is a great feature to add. It's a good army builder. Like I said with all my other... My, me other. I just keep butchering this review. Um, like I do with my other vehicle reviews. Um, these, I got TJ Maxx. Paid twelve fifty for this in a two-pack. So, really great. Um, I hope you found this review helpful. I doubt it. <laughs> But in case you did, I encourage you guys to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, really appreciate it. Bringing a lot more stuff to my channel. Just really focusing, trying to work on it. So yeah, all in all, I hope you found this review helpful again. Um, I'll be doing one more vehicle review, and then we're going to jump into some old retro reviews. Stay tuned for that. Until then, I will see you all in my next video.